Money? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Getting chips and pot for the party. We're gonna go get chips and pop for the party. I'll come. What's that? I said let's do that. Oh, it's our last night in town, boys. Seven layer dips? Yeah, yeah, let's get a seven layer okay, dip. Do we have enough to get the dip and the chips? Yeah, those look so good. It's good. Yeah. You wanna move the, maybe move those in the sun and heat them up a bit. Mm. The only sun's just right there. Ah, oh, it's frozen. I'm just trying to upload the poster for our show um, at Squamish tomorrow. Our name was down here, but you couldn't really see it, so I moved it up here. There. Yeah. So I kind of made us, I put us right next to our tour mates. We didn't tell anyone. Well, we told like a bunch of friends, like close friends who were coming tonight to the party and stuff. But like, um, most like most of our fans don't know about the big news. So I'm pretty excited. I feel like we might get somewhere between zero to like 5,000 likes on it. That's huge for Facebook. Successful. There it is. Looks good, eh? Some dreams, I guess, do come true, eh? This is the last coconut you're gonna drink, bud. This is yeah. it. This is your last Canadian beer. You're gonna you're, be drinking that light shit. Bud. This is the last coconut you're gonna drink. Yeah. You're, you're gonna, gonna drink, bud. This is the yeah, last you're coconut. Gonna you're gonna drink, bud. Greatest album. Dude. Greatest. All right. What's, What's the, your favorite? Tell your shirt. 
Oh, my favorite. This is my favorite Arcade Fire record. Nasty. I wear the shirt every day. This is their second nastiest. In my opinion, their nastiest is Funeral, man. That is a nasty ass fucking album. Funeral's nasty, but nasty is kind of like raunchy. Nasty well, is, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like dirtier, no, it's dirty. Anyways, I practice all Wynn's chords from this record, just the shapes he does, you know? Like with the fingers, just like he does, because... Yeah, he has the same fingers. Oh, listen to the lyrics, same it's fingers. all about fucking nasty. What do you mean? He has five. Look at that. Same fingers. <laughs> Order. Have you seen the arcade fire before? Yeah, I have. How many times did I get tell Seven you? times. <laughs> Seven times. Hey, yeah, I know. It would have been eight. It would have been eight, but uh, me and Luke only played nine. Yeah. Me, me and Luke missed the boat one time, so. Yeah, we missed the boat. Whatever, we did something else fun that night. Remember that? How many, how many times are you gonna, or would you say we're gonna see the arcade fire? Ah, uh, I know exactly. I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be 365. Am I right, Luke? Yeah, but not on Christmas. <laughs> Hey, who's the hottest in uh, Arcade Fire, you guys think? I know who I think. Brett Butler. Yeah, he's Oh, uh, it's, it's Wynn Butler. Oh, you would know that. Yeah. No, it's Rhett Butler. Seven times. It's Rhett. Seven times. It's Rhett Butler. Rhett what? Brent Butt? Butt? Brent Butt is a, a Canadian comic. No, no, this is Arcade Fire singer. What's his name? Brett, Brett Butler. Oh, I think there's a W. It's like W-R-E-T. Oh, like Brett. Oh, Brett. 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 Yeah. French Canadian. Yeah. Brett. 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, they were Arcade Fire. Yeah, was Arcade Fire. <laughs> you guys, you guys. I mean, yeah, it's a dream. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know what else it's to the dream. It is the dream. It's the only it is. Dream. No, seriously though, it is the dream. That's crazy. You guys are doing it. Like so many people are gonna see you guys. Yeah. What, what's the biggest show you think you're gonna do? Like the number of people who are gonna watch. Yeah, yeah. I or mean, like the biggest stadium or whatever. Yeah. Like what? Uh, how I mean, big is the biggest crowd you think that you're gonna get? I don't know. It's a year with the firemen. It's like <laughs> if you add them all up, that's gotta be everybody. You that's know? Fucking wild, man. That's crazy. It's just like that's crazy. Probably a million people. Bring it in. Oh, oh. You fucking made it. The RK5. $20,000 a show right now. That's what they told us. Unbelievable. 365, Unbelievable. 365 shows in a row. Isn't that crazy? Wow. That's what that's what they told us. Coming, everybody. Uh, I know you. it's like a Friday. I know there's lots of things to do. I'm glad you guys made time. To hey, watch out! The police it. are coming. They're not coming. <laughs> <laughs> when I was still a laddie, those famous colors, red, white, and red. Ooh, ooh. The topic is forever the weather. Who saw whose sister where and did she really say that? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Wow. It's That's the land of the tree and the home of the outdoor rave. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's definitely true. I smell like an Atlantic octogenarian and can't find my suitcase full of beaver pelts. And I thought this is no way to treat a prime minister. We brought him into this world right. and we can take him out of it. Yeah. yeah. You guys aren't cars. You guys aren't sticks. No, we're not. You definitely aren't grass. You guys are just plain sick. <laughs> yeah. These four are some of my best friends. You guys aren't hair. No, we're not. That would be unfair. <coughs> it would be. You guys aren't a cat. I can't talk to that. <laughs> I know that no matter what happens, and as dark and hard as life gets for them, or for me, that our love is as true a bond as trust. Impenetrable and unwavering. Famous parents in Toronto, inviting Strombo to the orgy. It's called Canada, it's my home, and I sleep in I don't need to fear their success. Yeah. Little hey, fuck up prime ministers don't even live long enough to destroy the integrity of this beautiful land. CBC! Yeah. CBC! Thanks of her dad, who also has a sack, her brother, who still 
has his baby teeth. But, but arcade I mean, fire? Yeah. Oh, hey. Arcade fire, man. Arcade fire. You got arcade it. fire! Arcade fire! Arcade fire! <laughs> Alright, so here we are, gathered here to uh, wed each other in holy matrimony. Okay, yeah. The husband and the wife. Yeah. So, ring is on. That's part one. No. Oh, no way. Okay, well, wait, wait, so what's up? You guys, alright, okay, so. <laughs> that, I'm not even gonna talk that to ring else. Sip. Ring, Put it on him. Oh. This is gonna go, oh, that does it, baby. Honk the horn, we're leaving. No, and I'm a no parts though. Parts don't go to 120. Starbucks parts on 120. Hey, dude, 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 Move stay out the car the whole time. Let's do that. What? what just do you mean? the whole way there. This way? Yeah, just like that the whole time. Let's do it. Let's go. Woo! Whoa, look at this car. It's blue. You guys seeing this? That's crazy. The plan was simple. A quick ferry ride and drive from our hometown was the Squamish Music Festival. According to our map, it should take no longer than two hours. The plan was simple. Pick up our new manager Ian, point ourselves in the right direction, and hit the gas button. Here we are, gonna go pick up our new manager Ian. Oh, the uh, intern? The old intern, yeah, he's moving up now. He's gonna be the manager for Slam Dunk for the full year long tour. Very excited. This is where uh, this is where I keep the numbers. This is, we got about 400 different numbers in here. Probably the calculator right here, crunch them. Mm, no, I got all the numbers in the bag. I don't need a calculator. Are you nervous at all doing your first big job without Lee? Um, I mean I've done big jobs before, not nearly as big as this. I'm nervous, but about 400 different numbers in here. Probably the calculator right here, crunch them. Mm, no, I got all the numbers in the bag. I don't Arcade fire! Arcade fire! Arcade fire! Arcade! Hat out the window! 
Looking back now, I can't say for certain if any of us had an idea that we were heading in the wrong direction. Of course, there were some small signs along the way. A constantly rising temperature, or the long hours that passed by with no festival ground in sight. According to our map, it should have only taken a couple of hours. Either way, we didn't think twice perhaps due to a head full of excitement or distracted by our own reflections in the window. Each of us sat quietly together with our breath held, clutching onto our seat belts as we took one disappointing turn after another. There was a moment on that drive where I thought I heard the sound of the firemen playing, only to find out that it was nothing more than our beautiful voices singing together in harmony, blowing back into our ears. Squamish isn't by like, there's like a city area, but like, there's gotta be like a festival ground. Where's the mountain? Uh, it's just up there. You see the... Is that Whistler? Over there? That's the chief. That's Whistler. That's Whistler. Yeah, I think that's the festival flag. Are you sure that's the festival flag? It's a sweet flag. It's a sweet festival. They really went all out this year, hey? Where's Loden? I think the festival's way down there.
Ray, you realize we're lost and you just there's no time to just try on clothes, right? And if we're not going to get there, we might as well get something. Looks real good, Ray. Would you rather I didn't film this part of the doc of the trip? I mean, I'd rather you didn't film it because I'd rather we weren't fucking lost. I'd rather. I'd rather, rather it was. We don't even know if we're lost. I mean, I'd rather that this whole situation. Where are we? I'd rather this wasn't filmable because we were on the right stage at the right time. I'll be honest, we're a band, not a bunch of map flapping clowns. And so turning our maps around was the first order of business. Our next move was to take all ten of our feet and collectively pushing down as hard as we could on the gas pedal. We pointed at. Vroom vroom, said the van. Hello van, we said back. We closed our eyes tight. We put our hands together, 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 together and prayed to gosh for a miracle. Vroom, 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 vroom. on time with a couple of hours left to spare. <laughs> Looks like we're back on track. So uh, we're here now. Beautiful Squamish, sunny as fuck. Oh man, I can't wait to get into this thing. Let's do it. This is the cabin, this is where we check in, we sign up, we uh, we get our passes, we get hooked up with the Arcade Fire sort of uh, information where where and when to meet up with them and stuff. So it's all this is the beginning right here. I guess the Arcade Fire, there's some problem they didn't get our names right. But... <laughs> That's weird, eh? Left to right. Well, you should I think. put it on the blue. Okay. Hi, uh, we're looking for we're looking for gay sticks for the arcade fire. Some dreams I can do come true. Some dreams I can do come true. It's nice to see some recognition. Like, straight off the bat, you know? Yeah.
crazy. Yeah. That's gonna be yeah. crazy. That's, 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 that's the problem. I know. I haven't seen any of them yet, though. And the, I haven't seen. No, the amps. Their amps. Their gear is so. Crazy. Right, so you see how they had the paint in? Uh, I got some news for you. Yeah, what's going on? It's not good. It's gonna be up. <laughs> Come on, we're about to play this as show. No, this is kind of serious, guys. Uh, maybe we could, like this. Hey, maybe exactly. we could talk about this kind of off say. camera, you know? Kind of. Seriously? Come over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Okey yeah, sure. dokey, sure. Let's go. Like, we could just talk about our friend of Kane. Yeah. Oh, I guess Kane will come. Yeah. What's up, man? I like the shape. What our manager, Sir Ian, told us was not easy to digest. Apparently the firemen were not playing the same stage as us. Apparently the firemen were playing in what the business is called, the main stage. And we were on what people were calling the lame stage. And we ran. Oh yes, we ran. We ran until we could hear the ding-dong of the church bells and we ran until they were drowned out, replaced by heavy breathing, heaving in and out of our blowholes as we searched for a safe place to hide our chubby fingers. We seek solace in the pastures of a distant meadow, at first letting out our anger, as all good men do, by challenging grass and dirt to a fight, whooshing and whooshing away, whooshing away and whooshing as well. Exhausted and feeling peckish, we dined on lettuce from the nearby creek. Uh, that's when we heard the bongos. We heard the roar of the bongos and the scronk of the didgeridoo. Something in the woods was a-stirring, and since we were the only detectives in the area, well, we felt it was up to us to do some detective work. Come forth, laddies, for you have been naughty. I am with you now, for you have taken for granted all you have looked for. May I point out, you are no longer short babies and puffy white bottoms. You are not grown and grown. Look up and see you like a famous maid to the boys. Look down and see your face, man, to the boys. And finally, look to your sides and see you have the arms made to the boys. So take it, your legs and run back to what you came in, then take the arms and wave them around the air. And then perhaps take it down legs and wave those around too. But now, let me see. Oh, but also, don't you get my eye on your Right now, my brother! Keep going, my mates! After the pep talk, we felt jolly and silly. We were ecstatic about our new outlook on life and thrilled to have a sacred experience that we can tell our friends about. We thought, hey, even though we're not playing the same stage as the Arctic Fire tonight, we still have a wonderful tour to look forward to. So there we were, running back to the show, full of lettuce and yelling things like Yahoo and Yippee! And as soon as we arrived back at that festival, Ian tossed the ceremonial hat and we hit the lame stage.
of all, we thought we were playing with the fucking fireman. But then we were lying to you. We found out the firemen were long gone. Down the road. So I guess that means what we got to hope for is our year long tour with the firemen. No respect from Squamish. Why are we opening for the firemen? The freaking headliner. Touch it, man. Well, it looks like we bounced back strong to bring our alternative rock music to the screaming fans. I guess a little dose of reality was just what we needed, and it showed in our performance. So, to the campsite we went to rough it with the commoners for one last night. But the talk was clicking, and our future tourmates were getting ready to rock, were ready to rock the main stage. Yeah, I think they played a pretty good set. Uh, I was a little bit surprised when Jordan and Duncan ran away. Uh, <laughs> but uh, every good manager's got a backup plan uh, for that. Uh. I mean, I guess it was kind of embarrassing. For him? I felt, no, like oh. when we were being like poor sports, like, I don't know, I kind of lost it at that moment. Um, when I think it was Ian fine. told us that, you thought it was fine. I mean, you, no, 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 in hindsight, in hindsight, I think it's fine. Like, it's kind of embarrassing to like disappear. Well, I don't know, not about it, not embarrassing. Like it makes anyone would be in, anyone in that position would do the same thing, I think. Definitely, and I think, yeah, you're right. Anybody who was in that situation would maybe would have questioned. I mean, I guess Luke ideals, and Caitlin yeah. and Kane didn't run away, but like. I'm having, having a hard time assessing what happened though when we went to that fire. I mean, yeah, I don't know. We saw some. I don't know how to explain that. I think everyone's gonna laugh at us if we try and tell them what happened. I have no explanation. He is cute. Yeah. Hi. Are How's you guys going? having some fun? We are. Yeah, we're just filming fun. a little movie about the festival. Woo best fest of the year, eh? That's oh yeah. I went to Pemberton. This is the first festival I've been into in a while. I went to Pemberton. Uh, festival five years ago when Jay-Z and stuff played. Oh yeah. That was pretty fucking sick. And then there's this sick one that I want to go to next year. Uh, That's sick. It's in Washington though. So it's like six hours away. But it's like the biggest fucking music festival. What's it called? Um, not Shambhala, but uh, J it starts with a P. Uh, party. Pring or Pringle Fest? No, it's That's something nice. with a P though. It's a... Uh, P? P, -P? It's almost fire time, eh? Yeah, it's amazing. Maybe we should go put our stuff in their bus. Should we free drink a bit? Let's free drink and then put our stuff in their bus because I'm sure it'd be like easier for them in the morning. The blinds are down, so I feel like... They what? I feel like the blinds are down, so like they're probably... Uh, yeah, he put his shoes in front of that one. That's the old I just feel like maybe they'd be happy if we just put our stuff on here. Text Ian that tell him that we're um, by the buses and ask him to ask them if we should put our stuff on it. it feels like we're probably like a couple of hours away from the dream. A couple hours away from the dream. So psyched. First of what Finally. Is this? Eighth show. Well, 
Yeah, right. eight. Yeah, eight. yeah, but it would have been nice. It would have been nice if we didn't miss that boat, man. Yeah, but we did some other did stuff that else. night. You got us pretty far, Ian. I'm, I mean, just, I'm just guessing. I'm accepting thank yous. I mean, Ian, you kind of ruined everything earlier, speech, but then I feel speech, like today speech, you really speech, pulled through speech. on the tour. So yeah, if you want to say a few words, say something about yourself. Look at the camera, because like we a all few know words, you. Though. A few, but not everybody does. Yeah, 24 old. words. Uh, That's good. Hey, we met a 24-year-old earlier. Let at him campsite. talk. Let him talk. Sorry. <laughs> Let him talk. 24 years old, single, live on Salt Spring Island. Come on, how do you feel though, bud? Come on. How do I feel? Use I'm really mind. fired up. <laughs> I, thought, I mean, I mean, man, I thought... <laughs> you get it? Fired oh, I up. just got it. That's fucking... <laughs> I don't know where they are, man. They're fucking late though. But there they are. Do you ever wonder if you can close your eyes tight and make a moment last forever? Like the moment when you first fell in love. I'm not talking about love between two lovers. I'm talking about falling in love with a champagne so bubbly it keeps you up at night. Or a song so life-changing you simply have to download it and listen to it over and over and over. And over, and over, and over, and over, and over. Hey, Squamish, again, it's finally again, and the again. Violin. You listen to, to it give so you much, you have to find you another song. Can I get more loot in my monitor? Hey, turn up your peepers. All right, band Irish lad. Three, two, no. Oh, hold on. Holy cow, that is tricky. Looks like King Kong That ain't a lady, that is Jesus, man A citizen for a new world plan The neighborhood smells like rubbish truck Oh, I'm just standing in an adult I heard the feeling of the mangoes Can I touch you with my dog hands? Would you still miss me? Would you still kiss me if I spoke like an Irish lad? Would you still miss me? Would you still kiss me if I spoke like an Irish lad? The Irish lad! safely say now those moments watching the fireplaces were some of the best of our lives for it was in these moments of bliss watching our future best friends that we felt our journey was coming to fruition bubbling up and over the brim of life we were getting mentally prepared to take over the world and so we took a moment to say goodbye to our lives on the Canadian highway with all its beauty and serenity and Tim Hortons and subways and what have ye we thought of the jokes in the subway lineup and the Tim Hortons lineup. 
using the bathroom in the single stall subways and the multiple stalls in the Tim Hortons. The peace, the quiet, the noises. We thought of those things here, on this here first night of tour. But then, as with all dreams where you're flying, <laughs> I think you know where I'm going with this. Give them some time. Hey yo, it's your boy uh, LB. They're just driving away without us. Hey Duncan, isn't your bag on that bus? DP. Uh, my friend Duncan's bag's on I the bus. I left my bag. Ian told me I sh- Ian Fuck. said to leave it on the bus. Ian! Doctor, wicked man, uh, discoverer. Fucking fuck! Oh, Where fuck. the fuck is Ian? Fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck. Ian. Fuck. What a fucking fuck. Man. Uh, I wanted to get something off my chest, which is that uh, for a few years, as many of you might know, I did. I managed a slam dunk, uh, the Victoria R&B band. Uh, I had a pretty decent relationship with them. I realized that we were coming to a fork in the road uh, at some point uh, last spring, and uh, that uh, my time with them was going to be uh, coming to an end. A big thing that really brought this about was some artistic differences as well as my uh, picking up uh, more shifts at Future Shop uh, where I do a lot of networking as well as selling cell phones and things like that. And I felt like it was uh, incumbent on me to kind of pass the reins on uh, to successor um, and not leave uh, slam dunk uh, you know hanging in the wind without a, without a road manager without a promotional team without a street team and so I've been hanging around with this kid Ian Davies for a couple of months and I thought he was cool I thought that he had uh, I thought he had some skills you know he was especially good I brought him on board as kind of a understudy with the idea that he would take the reins. And I told him as I was leaving, as a joke, I said, man, there's no ceiling to this shit. You can go above the ceiling. You can take this R&B band and you can make it into something that's going to play with the big, uh, big leagues. Uh, so you got a farm team, and it's going all the way to the Stanley Cup, basically, is what I said to him. I said, you guys can play with Elton. You guys can play with Eminem. You guys can play with, uh, you know, the Eels. You guys can play with... And the last thing I said, as I worked my way backwards in the alphabet towards A, was, you guys can play with the fires, with Arcade Fire. They're an indie rock group. You guys are kind of more of a blues rock outfit. There's no reason that those two things can't combine and create a kind of indie blues style um, merger, meeting of talent, uh, similar to something like the Black Keys, very similar to the White Stripes, almost exactly the same. Um, and those are huge, huge bands that had already seen their success and were actually on the decline, which means that they have kind of made the road for Slam Dunk to start walking up, uh, in a way. Anyway, I feel like Ian missed the nuance, and 
he essentially, to my understanding, upon my departure, told Slamdunk that I had booked them to play with the Firehouse Boys, Arcade Fire, which I had not done. Uh, although I did find it quite funny. So here I am clearing the air, letting everybody know what the real skinny is. Peace. Yeah, so right around here we got about uh, 50 heads of sheep over here. Uh, kind of, we've been planting a lot of uh, vegetables, and you can see that kind of over here. Um, oh, yeah, <clears throat> that's where we keep the cow. We got two cows. Yeah. It's like Jordan's coming down here. Something to say, Jordan. Yeah. It's Luke. 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 Ian. Look at Luke. He's leaving us. He's just walking away, man. Slow Luke's down. Leaving. Yeah, I can't understand what you're saying. Don't, I don't know what you're saying. You gotta slow down. You gotta slow down. Okay. I'll calm down. I'm sorry. I'm just really flipping out. Luke's trying to leave the tour, man. He's trying to leave the tour. So he doesn't want okay. to drive does it, the band. It doesn't matter if Luke's here. I think, I don't know if it really makes sense for any of us to be here right now, Jordan. Well, I mean, if Luke leaves, who's gonna drum in the band? You think we're on tour? You think this is a tour? You think this is, you think all this is a tour? If we weren't on tour, why would we be away from home for so long? For so fucking long? Huh? Answer me a question. We're in the middle of goddamn fucking nowhere, man. Nowhere is fucking built. If it's anyone's fucking fault we're not on a tour, it's yours. Your fault! I think, I don't know if it really makes sense for any of us to be here. It's always right been now. your fault! There's a reason we're not playing any shows. There's a reason why the fireman is gone, Ian. And I'm flipping tired of it. And I'm ready to make the biggest snowball throw hey, it. Tranquilo, man. You're really freaking out right now. You're, I'm ready to really take all freaking. the snow in this fucking forest and throw it. Don't, no, don't throw snowballs. Don't throw snowballs. In every freaking tree! No, no, don't throw snowballs. Don't throw snowballs. Ah! Oh, Ian! It's no use! If Luke leaves, who's gonna drum? Ray can play drums. You know, he's not just a boongo player. You know, you can play, we can play, we can get play, we can get play, we can get play, we can get him, we can get him. Ray can't play the drums, he's a freaking boongo player! We can get, we can get, we can get him, we can get him, we can, he can play. We can get Ray to play. I guess you're right. Look, maybe I have been the best manager. You know, everybody's got, everybody's good, you know, good at different things. I, got a, you know, I have a different skill set, you know, than that of, a, you know, your regular, or, you know, Joe Blow manager type, you know. Maybe I'm not pen penciling you in, or I don't have a phone. I'm calling people on the phone to get other phone numbers, but that's not that doesn't mean that I you know I'm not an important manager and I have other you know I do lots of other things. Maybe there's some things you, you don't even know about me. You don't know that I do That season
was the coldest season in almost 2,000 years. And the loss of Luke wasn't easy for the band, even if it meant more room to sleep on the barn floor. Usually a tour has ups and downs, but those few months were almost always down. We had become a few more trees, losing their leaves to the winter winds. On one particular night, we were playing our old favorite game, Hand Out the Window. But Duncan left his hand out too long, and by morning it had left him. He still thinks Luke was the one that came back and took it, because he now has a hand that looks a lot like Luke's. So he says, but we know what really happened. We've all seen Caitlin's new hand. On another night, Jordan threw a snowball so hard, it hit a tree, and it exploded into little bits. And by the time summer came, all the snow had been thrown away. And also around this time, well, we decided it was time to go back home. Kind of the last of the things packed up. We got uh, everything out of the basement. Vans just about full, so we just okay. give everything you cool. want. <clears throat> Are Caitlin and Luke uh, done packing? <clears throat> yeah, they're just Caitlin's just uh, taking her out of the tractor out there. Just one more loop right now. Right now, and I heard something. Luke and uh, Duncan are out there milking the last wow. cow. The last cow. Are we gonna have fresh milk for the road? Still warm. Oh great. Oh, there is Caitlin. <laughs> wow. There, look, it's Luke and Duncan. You can see the milk in the neck from here. Yeah. Right at the barn window. <laughs> I've never used the barn window before. No. Not in the whole year. I was wondering why I could hear all those sounds. Oh, I guess they're, they're coming from outside. Yeah, yeah, just out right outside. You're inside the barn and then just out in the farm, I guess. Yeah. That's where the sounds come from. Yeah, definitely. What are you doing here? Uh, I was uploading some pictures. Uh, from the tour. Oh, cool. oh. Still on tour mode, I guess. Yeah, still on, <laughs> still on tour. Um, um, did you, uh... Here, look. Yeah, yeah, let's see. That's, that's only four, so it's not gonna take long. Uh, this is... This is Luke. Um... Do you remember this? This was uh, at a... I can't remember what was going on this night. It was so funny, though. <laughs> we were laughing so hard. Look, look at her <laughs> laughing. And then Luke's behind her. <laughs> He's waving. I can't remember. I can't uh, believe what he wore that night. <laughs> Do you remember? Uh, yeah. This is a. Uh, oh yeah. Caitlin behind that rat. Yeah, on a tour with their kid fun. Yeah, she was so hungry that night. I remember being like, um, I remember her saying it, and I had to, I, and she was talking to me when she told me. Um, oh, there's backstage. Yeah. I don't know. Backstage. Backstage. Uh, this was, I think I was talking to uh, Rhett about there wasn't enough um, ham on the stage. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> I remember that. Um, I remember that part for sure. That part of the tour. That was funny. That was really funny. <laughs> um, and there's one more. That's look. And there's Duncan. Um, and uh, that night was crazy. He was hitting the, that guy next to him was hitting the drum so hard. And Duncan, uh, he was singing uh, with them that night. So fun. Yeah, uh, definitely going to two con Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna put these up, and I just and I'm gonna do a last couple of tweets and just let everyone know we're coming back. And 
I'm pretty excited to see everyone's faces again, I guess. Hmm. Well. Great. <laughs> <laughs> that I'll was grab really, my that stuff. Was really I'll cool. see you in the van. Yep. Okay. Good. I'll see you in the van. Bye. <laughs> you should film that so I can send it to my parents. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So I'd come in from the left, and then um, they'd, ideally there'd be uh, like 10 people. August 15th, 2015, the final chapter. <clears throat> the triumphant drive home is reminiscent of the drive away from home. A mirror one year thick, laid out on the open highway. To our sides, we find ourselves surrounded by rubber and steel. A caravan of minivans and truck nuts guides us home, while outside locals hold up signs reminding us to honk if we're horny. We are itching to get back and we were excited to do something about the itching problem. And so the plan was simple. Just a quick skip across the water. We should be home by sundown, just in time for our homecoming concerto. But first, we had some unfinished business to take care of. More now on that breaking news. Look at this forest fire. New information just in. A forest fire broke out late last night. Number one, the heat. It is toasty out here. And the flames up the four stories high, mind you. When he learned there was a fire in his neighborhoods. How are we going to get home? The road's blocked. Straight through that. Flames that were four stories tall, billowing over the trees, and... Uh... I'm going to get papers and photographs and special stuff together, get a few boxes ready to rock and roll. What did you see? Well... Uh, smoke. Just play fire. Just play fire. Wait, Ian, don't. You're a madman. <laughs> <laughs> it's been me all along, you fucking idiot. You've been the one saving our arses all along? I'm the greatest manager you will ever find. I'm sorry, I never trusted you. I've done it before. We should have listened. Victoria said the small sea and to see some of our hometown dogs get out there on the big stage. It's me. She's super special. How do you like slam dunk? Did you guys uh, hear that they played with Arcade Fire? Yeah. That's fucking insane, isn't it? Slam dunk is absolutely the most amazing fucking band <laughs> ever. Ever.
Great. Who's got that sort of odor? A man who's. What do you mean odor? Yeah, something does smell kind of like a, like an earthy, mut, like Here, like yeah, a yeah. musty kind of smell. Like, like smell no, my it's hat. Not, it's not your hat. No, it smells. This smells normal. One, no. two. Hmm. Huh. Well, what do we? What is it? Is it goat? Goat? Goaty? Oh yeah, the goat. No, that's um, that's Rhett. You know Rhett? Rhett Butler? Uh, he plays with them. Oh yeah. He's okay. got this. It's like this spray-on kind of deodorant stuff. Uh -huh. It's it's it supposedly it's supposed to smell like nothing, but it, after okay. like a good year of using it, you kind of get this strange kind of mm. earthy musk. Yeah. Okay. This sort of a kale-y pota potatoes smell. I don't agree with that. Not mm. necessarily. Well, we laughed, and jumped, and we spun, and we cheered. We hooted and hollered. It was more than we could ask for, and the perfect way to cap off a hard year away from friends, family, and work. Which, to be honest, we're not looking forward to going back to. I'm sure you know what I mean. Work sucks. Ha ha ha. But with all the excitement in the air, Something felt wrong. Yes, we can love to jump and we can love to cheer, but the fact still remains. Yes, we can love that feeling of the California breeze blowing our hair around as we pose for a photo and touch something red. We can talk about those nights in the Nevada desert, looking up at the big sky, soaring with the eagle, kissing the snake. And we can talk about the oops and we can talk about the dunes and how we're loving every minute of it, but still something was being left unsaid. And it was time to be honest with our friends, with our family, and all of those who have been there since the beginning. They've been there for us. And atop the mountain of our love, you'll find honesty. And it was time to come clean. Because there was something we loved more than lying <laughs> to our friends. We had to come clean. We had to tell the truth. He's having the pleasure of touring with Canada's number one arena indie arena rock band, the Arcade Fire, for a whole year.
Look at this, look at this. 